Hello everyone, Dr. Ergen here with Sugar MD and Diabetes Thyroid and Hormone Center of the Treasure Coast in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Today we are talking about a viral claim blowing up on Facebook and other platforms that there is a parasite living in your pancreas causing diabetes and once it's gone, you're cured. Sounds pretty good, right? Dramatic? Well, unfortunately it is also completely false. But instead of just dismissing it, I want to break down why this is a misinformation and what the real science tells us about diabetes and also where we stand on actual research into reversing type 1 and type 2 diabetes because while parasites are under cure, the real scientists are working on some very promising approaches. Let's get to it, okay? So here's the claim. Certain groups online typically are saying diabetes is caused by a cattle parasite called Urethrema pancreaticum. Supposedly, everyone with diabetes has it in their pancreas. And if you cleanse the parasite out, the diabetes disappears. Now, this theory actually comes from a controversial figure in the 1990s, Halda Clark, who wrote a book called The Cure for All Diseases. She blamed nearly every illness on parasites and promoted devices like her so called Zepper. No credible signs ever supported it, and experts around the world debunked it decades ago. The truth is, this parasite can infect cattle, yes, and very rarely humans. But cases in people are so rare that they show up mostly in specialized reports from parts of Asia. From the average person with diabetes in the US, Europe, or even most of the world, this parasite is not even on the radar, let alone the cause of their condition. Let's clear up what diabetes actually is. As you know, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Your immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the insulin-producing beta cells in your pancreas. No parasite, no zapper. This is your immune system misfiring. Type 2 diabetes is, as you know, is mostly insulin resistance, and then your body still makes insulin, but your cells do not respond well to it. Over time, your pancreas cannot keep up and blood sugar climbs. Again, no parasites involved. Type 3 C diabetes, which is far less common, can happen if the pancreas is damaged, say by pancreatitis, surgery, or cancer. In very rare cases, certain infections can damage the pancreas, but those are isolated, not the universal cause, like Facebook scammers are claiming. So, this whole parasite narrative falls apart when you understand the real pathophysiology of diabetes. That's why it is important to get information from real doctors and scientists, not just some viral posts trying to sell you stuff that doesn't work or trying to make you believe the things that are not true. So why are these are harmful, right, these claims? First of all, false cures prey on people who are desperate. So if you are living with diabetes, you have probably had moments where you thought, I just want this gone, right? And scammers know that. They use fear and hope to push unproven cleanses or gadgets, etc. The danger? Well, people start skipping insulin, ignoring real treatments, and chasing some false hope. That can lead to skyrocketing blood sugars, hospitalizations, and real harm. I always tell my patients, when you see an ad, that sounds too good to be true. Ask, where is the evidence? Is there a study in a peer-reviewed journal? Is the FDA approving this? Or at least, are there any studies out there with the ingredients? If it is a supplement, for example, if you look at sugar MD supplements that we have, every ingredient has been studied and there's data for it, even if they're not FDA approved and they will never be FDA approved because of the factors you already know about the supplements. But let's talk about the real exciting part. What science is actually doing right now to move us toward the reversal? Now, type 2 diabetes, with the remission at least is possible in most cases. Through weight loss, sometimes dramatic weight loss after bariatric surgery, but also with structured diet and exercise, people can bring their blood sugars back to normal, even get off those medications, right? Now, studies like the UK's direct trial show that 40 to 50 percent of people with type 2 diabetes can achieve remission with intensive lifestyle intervention. 
There are medications too, like GLP-1 receptors, like Ozempic, Monjaro, etc., helping people there too. And supplements like sugar MD supplements are also helping quite a bit. Now, type 1 diabetes progress is a little bit misled as well right now. There is no cure for type 1 diabetes, but the research is moving fast. Scientists are working on, for example, stem cell therapy, creating new insulin-producing beta cells from stem cells, and implanting them into patients. Some early human trials are showing that, you know, insulin production is stored, at least temporarily, in these people. Now, islet cell transplantation, which is taking islet cells from donors and transplanting them into people with type 1. Well, the challenge is immune rejection and needing lifelong immunosuppression, the problem. But it worked in some cases. Immune therapy, drugs like teplizumab, are designed to slow or even stop the autoimmune attack in people at high risk or newly diagnosed. It is not a cure, but it is the first step towards preserving the beta cells longer. Gene editing and regenerative medicine is there too. Now, these are on the horizon, but labs are actively exploring ways to reprogram cells or block autoimmunity at the genetic level. So yes, while a Facebook cure is a scam, real scientists are closer than ever to breakthroughs. It's not here yet, but the future looks brighter than it did maybe even five years ago. So what is the takeaway here? Bottom line is, diabetes is not caused by a parasite, number one, okay? So no Facebook cleans, no magic zapper, no shady stuff will make it disappear. But that does not mean we are hopeless. With type 2, remission is 100% possible. With type 1 diabetes, research is advancing faster than ever, and real therapies grounded in real science. In the meantime, we manage diabetes with proven tools, nutrition, exercise, supplements that have been studied, or medications that are FDA approved, CGMs, continuous glucose monitoring, insulin pumps, whatnot, right? So we have all these options. I would say next time you see a post claiming that, oh, we have found the cure for diabetes, ask yourself, are they showing real data or are they trying to sell you something that's so out there, okay? Stick with facts, trust the science, and don't fall for scams.